Hello, 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 and welcome to ATV Off-Road Fury, a game that was originally released for the PS2, and this is actually one of the, probably one of the first racing games I've ever played. Back when we first got a PS2. 95,000 years ago. Anyway. So yeah, it's a game entirely focused on ATV racing. I can remember... Yeah, so anyway, what I remember most about this game is the maps. Um, you have a few licensed ATVs and then the Ravages and the Havocs, which are uh, unlicensed, and basically they do a good job of filling out the roster because there's only like a handful of licensed stuff. There's a Polaris 500, 400, Yamaha Warriors, Blasters, the, uh, much loved Banshee, Kawasaki Lakota, Mojave, Honda 400, Honda 300. So, yeah, pretty good selection. Um, you can change your rider's outfit. And then, of course, you can start the race. <clears throat> so yeah, one of the first things you need to know about this game is that most of the time people don't do any racing. You can. But the real allure is these huge open world maps that you can explore. There's a train. Okay, so you got a train here. With like, really short coaches. Nineteen nineties models, man. Never know what they're gonna do. Um... Also, it always makes a railroad crossing sound. Wait, no, never mind. Maybe I was actually near a crossing. You get out of the station. I think there's a water tower somewhere. There's a shed over there. Huge jump. Of course, one of the main differences between this and other racing games is very important to preload your suspension on jumps and not completely screw up like I did. Kind of a broken bridge here. Uh, another thing this game is known for is the out of bounds system, which basically is a minefield. So then you go to a place where you would be out of bounds, there's no real physical barrier. So we'll just uh, keep heading in one direction for a certain amount of time. Now there's just like an internal flat plane, and there we go. That's what happens when you reach the map boundary. You just kind of explode into the air, and... Yeah. So anyway, each of these uh, free roam maps kind of have their own theme going on. 
This one I think has like a cavern you can get into. If I can find it. Oh, there's a little adobe village looking thing here. If I can circle hand X to back up. It's not just square like it is in almost every other game. Anyway. Um... kind of a cave type thing and a sign. Where's a cookie sign? There's a sign that always kind of just looked like a cookie. I think that's it. Yes, it's actually a map of the place, but to me as a kid it always just looked like a giant cookie. <laughs> um... Yeah, the caverns. There's a mine shaft. Condemned, keep out, condemned. You said condemned twice for other. Oh. There's another bit of mine track there. There's another challenge is to try to get on some of these things without that happening. Anyway, that's uh, it for this map. Aside from the train that also goes around in the room. The uh, next map, Heart Valley, is known for one thing and one thing only. These uh, rusted out oil line pipes. And that's like the most interesting thing on this map. The challenge is trying to get down the pipes. With a PS2 controller. See how far I can get. Okay, so you start here. Oh wait, that's just a ramp. Never mind. Start here. Then uh yeah, sometimes it takes a while to get past that jump. You got the uh, Polaris 400 right now. In one run. You need to get a good run at it, and you need to hit it straight on, and my guy landed up there. What a shame. Alright, so yeah, I would probably not want to crash on here. you probably cut yourself up pretty bad. You know, just look at all this nasty, jagged metal. Um... Now maybe? Nope, not enough speed. It can make it, I've done it. You can make it to the end of the line. Although it is kind of hard. Oh, come on! Yeah, that's the last time I'm going to try that because otherwise I'm going to spend the entire video trying to cross this thing I can cross as a 10 year old. So what's this up here? Just another line. It's just another line. Yes, it's shorter lane. The next map is Yardley Station, which 
is a very train heavy map. If you like trains, you like this map. Because that is the primary feature. There's also a barn over there. Can you go in the barn? Yeah, you can. I don't know what, why you'd want to, but you can go in here. Um, it's all part of the game, is seeing how, where you can get your ATV to go. We can follow the tracks. I think there's uh, two or three trains that run on this map. And there's a the yard where there's just a bunch of park trains. Basically this entire map is somebody's model railroad. So eventually if you follow the tracks long enough you get to this train yard. And there is a lot of stuff going on. You can also jump over the tracks. There's some park locomotives. They look like GP9s. And various rolling stock. Also, the uh, end of the line markers there make excellent ramps. It's a great area for stunting because there's so many things to jump off of. That didn't go so well. And it did that. If you wait long enough, some trains will come through. Maybe. So there's like two or three th trains that regularly circle the map. So. That one makes the uh, engine sound, even though it's not moving. There's a cattle car, which has not been used since, like, the 60s. But whatever. There's one of the trains. Try to jump onto the tree. I think I ever managed to do that. That's one of the trains that drives through, and then there's another one somewhere. Yeah, there it is up there. You know, it also has a slightly different collection of cars as well, so just copying the same train twice. And we're back in the yard again.
can also go up in this building, kind of. Kind of. You're not. Ow. Other trains going through at the same time. So I have that weird crossing gate sound, but there's no crossing anywhere. What's that about? I thought there was a third train of cars on it, maybe I was mistaken. Anyway. That's about all this map has to offer. And there's this military map which has these giant forts you can drive around in. There's uh, military jets flying around all over the place as well. But strangely no security. One of the challenging things is driving up onto the board. You can drive up the staircase. Not like that, but. Be careful. And you can be up on top of the fort. Because why not? Then you can die at the top like an idiot. And have to start from the bottom all over again. Anyway, there's fighter jets flying around. Those are F 15s. Uh, there's an army truck back there. Lots of military related scenery. Seems like a helicopter. There's a warthog looking thing parked here. Seriously, it looks like a warthog. The rocket launchers. Fighter jets. So those are probably the same fighter jets. Here's some tanks and the APC. I can't believe that didn't just kill me right there. Oh. There's a 10 Thunderbolt in the hangar, 15 in the hangar. Arrow post G2, whatever that means. Another decent half truck. And an Apache helicopter. All well, things. So yeah, a lot of military action going on in this map. Uh, 
training obstacle course. But no people. Throw those jets in. Can we hit the jet? No. I don't think anything would interesting would happen if we hit the jet. It'd probably just kill me and not really into that. There's a testing range here. Got some old shot up tanks. Lots of off-road terrain where they couldn't figure out what to put here. Nuclear power plant with uh, chemical waste everywhere. Probably not the safest thing to drive through. Here goes an A10. Some uh, missiles on a cart next to a nuclear plant. Probably not the safest idea. Also, there's a nuclear plant that is nowhere near water. So, that's kind of weird. It's like the most unsafe nuclear plant in the world next to the one in The Simpsons. Huge jumps here. Yeah, there is quite a bit to see in this map. Then there is Crater Park, whose main feature is, unbelievably, believe it or not, the craters. These gigantic holes in the ground allow for gigantic jumps out of them. And also ridiculous crashes. But also, there is this uh, natural arch over here. I have no idea how any of these cars got up here. I mean, seriously, there's no road or anything. You just drive straight up the hill. Anyway, you know, but there's this natural arch here. You can try to drive across it. Which actually isn't too hard, except for that bit at the end where I just screwed up. And you got little uh, trailer parks scattered around everywhere for tourists. Can't do a loop. This isn't Grand Theft Auto, dang it. I remember that. That's a building. A very solid building. drive straight up. Another building you can go inside, basically. And embarrass yourself. Oh. 
Come on, I landed that. Ramp off the tent. No, we can't. That wasn't even close. <laughs> okay, screw that. Ramp off in here. Oh. Gotta stop doing it. It's not GTA, I can't just go do loops and stuff. Do other stunts though, if I can remember how. That's what the score thing was for. There. I did a stunt and then immediately died. Go figure. It's actually a huge list of stunts you can do. There, I landed it. Kind of. Probably broke my driver's wrist in the process, but I landed it. What else can I do? Nope. Can't do that. I die if I do that. Anyway, you can also do races on a variety of outdoor and stadium tracks. Which isn't so bad. Might be a bit lagtastic, but it's not so bad. You can also do stunts at the same time for no apparent reason. Yeah. So anyway, that's an uh, overview of ATV Off-Road Fury. Uh, one of the better racing games for the PS2, surprisingly. Unfortunately, by uh, like ATV Off-Road Fury 4, ATV Off-Road Fury 3 was like an online-only thing, so it kind of sucks based on that. And then there's uh, Off-Road Fury 4, which got rid of all the uh, freestyling and stunts. I think also added like trucks and motorcycles and stuff for no apparent reason. And by 3, the series went downhill. Like, uh, even by Off-Road Fury 2, wasn't as good as the original, in my opinion. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or subscribe, or any combination of those things if you want. Um, and click the bell icon to be alerted when new videos are available. This is Strike9716, signing off for now.